Tonight's comedian has been entertaining audiences with hilarious, clean comedy for over 25 years. His dry bar comedy special is called The Meaning of Life. Get that? And his Shakespeare-style telling of the three little pigs, a triune tale of diminutive swine, is in its third printing. I want you to welcome a very funny guy, John Branion. <laughs> expect the music to stop so quick. Uh, hey, thanks. This is great. Thanks to Mike for bringing comedy out. I, I, we live in a culture where nobody has a sense of humor anymore. Have you noticed that? That everybody is so serious, everybody is so tolerant that we just hate each other's guts. <laughs> and I think the Christian people should do something about that. I think Christian people should set the bar for the rest of the world and show them how to laugh. You agree with me on that? That we should do it? All right. Because we got the most stuff to laugh about. Christian people got the most stuff to laugh about. You get to spend forever in heaven with God. I mean, <laughs> all this is a joke in the scope of eternity. Your lot in life. If you're a doctor down here on earth, there's no sickness, there's no disease in heaven. <laughs> we don't need you. If you're a lawyer down here, you probably won't get to heaven. So. <laughs> To lighten up, lighten up. That's what I'm saying. We gotta, there, I get asked this question uh, only in church. I go do comedy in church, and it's just the church people that will say, do you think God has a sense of humor? Hmm? I'm like, well, I think he made church people. <laughs> Heaven, yes, God has a sense of humor. We didn't think up laughter. That wasn't our idea. That was given to us by a higher power that knew we were gonna need it to get through life. He knew we were going to have hardship. He knew we were going to have struggles. He knew we were going to get married. He knew stuff was going to happen. And so laughter is a gift. It's a gift. We've got to set. It's okay to laugh at other people, but you first got to laugh at yourself. You got to notice this goofy stuff in yourself. Christian people, it's everywhere. You know, we church people, we say stuff all the time. We say stuff like, we're just here to introduce people to Jesus. We just want to introduce people to Jesus. And Jesus already knows everybody, doesn't he? <laughs> I know how many hairs you have on your head, but I am not good with names. <laughs> I heard a preacher say, God is moving here. God is moving here. I thought, wow, this must be a nice neighborhood. <laughs> he lives in heaven. He's moving here. Your property value is going to skyrocket, my friend. Can you imagine having God as a neighbor? That would be awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> I feel like he's always watching us. <laughs> Put up a privacy fence, it's doing nothing. Uh, Got to notice it first in yourself. Notice your own stupidity. Some of you who live indoors will relate to this. You know how when you hear a sound in the middle of the night coming from somewhere in your house, if you're not sure the source of that sound, it kind of freaks you out? Recently, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I heard this whistling coming from somewhere inside the house. <laughs> So I nudge my wife to ask her to go look for it. <laughs> but she wouldn't go because she was asleep and she's pretty selfish when she's unconscious. So I had to go by myself. And so I'm trying to find it just using auditory signals. And when I got close, it sounded like it was moving. So I'm chasing it around in the dark for like 10 minutes. And then I finally realize it's this nostril. Now, I didn't have to tell my wife that story, but I did. <laughs> so she could put it on Facebook. That's how you put stupid to good use. The stupidity kept to yourself, the stupidity wasted. So many stupid things. I, uh, I buy stuff from infomercials. I don't even care, I'm off the rails. Uh, I do. I bought our last vacuum cleaner from an infomercial, and it's the world's most powerful vacuum cleaner. That's what they said on the infomercial. Those people have no reason to lie. <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning, that's when all of your quality vacuum programming is on. You can't catch it at prime time. You gotta stay up late, commit yourself, like me. 
And this guy's running the vacuum cleaner all over the studio talking about it. This is the world's most powerful vacuum. Look at the job it's doing picking up these quarters. They had a stack of quarters on the floor, and they're just, ding, 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 just sucking them up. And I'm at home going, yes, we've got so much money laying around on the carpet. We have nothing to get cash out of the shag. They picked up a bowling ball with the vacuum cleaner. I've been using those three holes in the top of mine. An animal. And have you noticed that no matter how powerful your vacuum cleaner is when you're using it, there's always one little piece of white fuzz on the carpet, and you're like been a bowling ball, I'd have got it. Uh, all right, I was kicking around online recently on the internet, and I found a town in Arkansas. The name of the town is spelled F-L-I-P-P-I-N. I would move there, because everything is funny at that point. Hey, I'm John, and I'm from Flippin' Arkansas. <laughs> Family and I are at the Flippin' Church of Christ every Sunday morning. <laughs> Graduated from Flippin' High School, there's my Flippin' Diploma. Go birds. <laughs> All right, I'm done. God bless you guys. Thanks. Thank you. That is great. John, I know where flipping is. I've been there many times. That was an homage to you. Some great, great fishing up near Flippin, Arkansas. Ranger bass boats. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, what a I thrill know. to have you here. Thank and you. Didn't you love John Brannion? So for all things John Brannion, go to the brand new Huckabee.tv website because that's where we're going to put all the information to get to know him even better and find out how to book him in your community, our church, which I think after tonight you're going to want to do.